angry guy here. And thugs are furious that black men don't want black women. Guys, help me get to 100,000 subscribers by hitting the subscribe button. If you already have it, hit the like button and also turn on notifications to never miss another video again. And now let's begin. Thugs are furious that black men don't want black women. Let's just go ahead and jump into the first video. Fire. Now I gotta post these. I gotta post these. I gotta show the internet. Oh, this is fire, man. Oh, it's gonna get a lot of likes. It's gonna get a lot of likes. <laughs> Light skins versus dark skins, Trey. Black internet, not today, man. Let me. Who you picking, man? Black internet, please. Light skins. Nah, I'm just trying to push my shoes. Son of a. Why, why are you yelling? Black woman versus why, black Why are you Trey? yelling? Why are you... Do black women complain too much, or do black men should... need to bro, do better? Get out, get out my face, bro. Answer the question, my... nigga. God damn. All right, please. No, 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 no. Please. Fuck that. Fuck that shit, Trey. All right, please. Please, please. We need to tell each other apart. Shut the hell up. Shut up, nigga. Shut up. You are sweaty and angry every day. Looking like a sweaty ass Twix bar. There is no picking a side. We're all black. What's the size? Arguing about the most pointless stuff. When we don't even talk about this in person. Just calm down and laugh. That's all you gotta do. Damn, Trey. I... Bro, I, I ain't even think about it like that, bro. Man, you know what? Give me your black card, bitch! Are you serious, Yeah, bro? nigga! You got black I'm, no I'm more, Trey! I'm logging out, bro. I'm logging out. Nigga, I'm, I'm logging give out. a fuck. Go ahead and log out, then! The fuck you thought you would? I'm okay? Nigga, fuck you! Why are you still ain't asking the question? My death or dark skin? You know, guys... I showed you this video because I wanted you to see what happened earlier in the video. Notice this guy starts talking about ethnicity very quickly, pitting black against white. Do you choose black women or white women? And if you do, if you're not choosing black women, then why are you blaming black women? Because black men need to do better. Now, you cannot tell me this is not a Tyrone. Y'all can't tell me this is not a Pookie. Y'all can't tell me this is not a Ray Ray. They are angry. They are fed up. Because they see what the Passport Kings are doing. And they do not like it one bit. Because as these men are walking away from Western society. And say, we are done with this nonsense. It puts the light on them. There's no more black men turning around and becoming, you know, step daddies. Oh, step up dads. He's not a step dad. He's a step up dad. Get the heck out of here. Wifing up these single mothers cleaning up for Tyrone. Littering all over the place. Litters of kids. Litters of children. Like puppies. Litters. These men are leaving litters all over the place. And then black men who work hard in life to develop themselves are now turning around and they are coming in dead last. Women say, oh, you didn't finish last. You finished first. You got to me. You got to me after I went through all the thorns to get to my prince. Guys, this, this is the bull crap that they tell men. And let me tell y'all, while she's saying this to him, she's going out for groceries or saying she's going, going to get her nails done. She's, getting, she's going to get her, black, her back blown out by the same dudes as this simp is there raising some other man's kids, paying down for some other man's kids. Did you know that in the United States, if you get into a relationship with a woman, and you then end up with a child that's not yours because she was creeping around behind your back, you could still end up having to pay child support for that kid. This is what happens in America. You can still end up being forced to pay child support for a child that isn't yours. Or let's say the woman writes your name on the birth certificate. If you don't contest it in time, you can be found liable to be responsible for child support for that child until they're 18 or 20-something years old, depending on the state. Even though a DNA test will later prove that you are not the father, the courts will still force you 
to take responsibility for that child and say it's your fault for not having the test done in time to meet a statute of limitations. And now you're responsible for that child. This is why these men are angry. Because when other good black men are walking away, it's going to shine a light on the people who are, who are creating all the problems in these communities. You see, these single mothers, these black women, they're in cahoots with Tyrone. All right. This type of behavior that you're seeing, that's female behavior. That is female behavior, being rude, disrespectful, overly aggressive, demanding, uncaring. Guys, that's female behavior. That's not that's not that's not manly behavior. That's not how a man behaves. That's not how a man carries himself. All right. That's female behavior. And, I, and you can see that it's a it's a it's a cycle because these men are raised by single mothers. And then they turn around and they take on that same type of single mother energy. Just like we talk about, you know, masculine energy in women, you know, we, this is single mother energy. And a lot of these men that are raised by single mothers, they have that single mother energy. All those thugs out there, that's single mother energy. Irresponsible, demanding, doesn't respect authority, doesn't respect other men. That's single mother energy. Let's check out this other video by Soraya. We actually watched some of it previously, but it's it's a good it's good to watch it because it illustrates why how these pookies are getting getting crazy because passport bros are walking away. Passport kings aren't tolerating it anymore, and now the light is going to be shined entirely on these dudes. And instead of some other man having to take care of this man's kids, they're gonna come for him now. They're gonna come for him. They're gonna put him. They're gonna put him in jail. And they're gonna tax whatever little money he's making in prison to pay. Listen to me. It doesn't matter if it's fifty cents or five cents. Whatever little money he's making in, in his forced labor job, it's not gonna go to his commissary. It's gonna go to. It's gonna go to pay his kids. It doesn't matter if it's fifty cents. They're gonna take it away. The state's gonna take their cut, and they're gonna say. They're gonna say what's left to the ladies. All right. That's how it's gonna work. That's how it's gonna work. All right. Accountability is coming for these guys. They just think them and the single mothers, single mothers and the spawns of single mothers. These guys destroyed these communities. And now there is a reckoning coming for them. Speak Mandarin. Y'all don't speak no other language but English. And you're going to go to another country. And then you go with the United States to rescue you when something happens to you, right? Okay, Brittany Griner. Before we get into what this Pookie has to say about the whole Passport Bro movement, I have to run this whole thing back a little bit so I can give you guys some more context because the little snippet that you just have seen was cut out of a review that he has done on one of my videos. So let's get right into it. As you already know, I am a firm believer of a woman competing for her man, especially if she knows that he has a high sexual marketplace value. And because of that fact, when my husband and I back then, boyfriend and girlfriend were still dating and he came and visited me in Germany back in 06, I had to make sure I do everything to leave a good impression compared to the women in America. And I had to do things that I know that women in America are not going to do for him, which really wasn't that hard because women in America, not all of them, but a lot of them, they just don't want to do jack shit for a man, especially while they are dating. So let's just keep it real. I am not here just talking out of my behind to make anyone look bad. You can show me, show me right now how many women that you have dealt with, not dealt with, but dated, who actually were willing I mean, maybe I am doing too much, but my actions are proving me otherwise. So let's see what kind of gibberish Mr. Pookie Man has to say. This video must be satire, but I'll tell you one thing. A lot of you American men that's trying to be passport bros that's going to these other countries but do not even speak their language, you're insane. This is beyond just women we're talking about. Y'all men don't speak German. Y'all don't speak Japanese. Y'all don't speak Chinese. Y'all don't speak none of these languages. Y'all don't speak... Mandarin, y'all don't speak no other language but English. And you're going to go to another country? And then you're going to the United States to rescue you when something happens to you, right? Okay, Brittany Griner. Doing dumb stuff. And then, not to mention, y'all going to these other countries looking for these wife material women when low-key you're only dating little girls who's being trafficked and women that are like 304s out there. Do you hear how disrespectful this Tyrone is? Listen to his dirty mouth. Do you hear the words coming out of his dirty mouth? Look at this man. Some of y'all saying that he's not a thug. He, but yeah, but he may listen. 
He may not be a straight up thug, but he definitely is a punk and he's a 100% Tyrone running his mouth, running his spooky mouth. I would never be a passport, bro, because those women in over countries that y'all passport for is not free women. Of course, but that's not everything. Let's check out a few comments. First one, they don't even realize they're getting played. They're desperate. Exactly. But book a one way. I thank them for their service. So once again, passport bros are being judged and shamed for wanting to leave the country and trying to find love outside of the US. Meanwhile, why these women clearly don't want them. I mean, there are numerous of posts, including thousands of comments that always prove that American women don't want these men who are leaving the country. So what's the problem? Instead of working on their femininity and their attitude, these ladies rather go to sip and paint parties. I didn't know what it was. You don't know either? Let me show you. I was in complete shock. Give it to me like... <laughs> Nah, that's wrong. Nah. Oh my god. Nah. Nah, hell no. No, 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 no. paint party so are you trying to tell me that decent american men are supposed to pick a woman out of that pool to wife them come on give me a break please give me a break pookie probably never left this township which is probably the reason why he's talking like that i mean all the countries that he mentions germany japan and china these are countries where the majority of the population speaks English to begin with. And then he said that these guys expect the American government to come through and arrest you them whenever they need help. First of all, sir, and dear American government, with all due respect, you don't even help the Americans who need help who are still in America. And by the way, when these guys leave America to go chill in another country, there are foreign insurance policies which are paid for, which provide the service of helping the Americans when they are in an emergency. So, so really nobody is begging for anyone to help them in any type of way. So you know, guys, it's it's so true. These guys are frightened. If you can't see it, he said he would never be a passport bro. He could never be a passport bro because his money isn't straight. His money isn't straight. His legal, his his papers aren't straight. Because you know, because he has he, he's been in and out of you can already tell he's been in and out of jail, in our in and out of prison. So he has a criminal record. So other countries won't even accept it. He could it's not that he could never, it's not that. He 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 could never be a pastor bro because he would never be a pastor bro by choice. He could never be a pastor bro because he would never be allowed to enter Germany and or Japan or any of these countries. They don't even want him in Mexico. They will deport him from Mexico. They'll put him in a Mexican jail, and then when they're done, they'll send him right back to America. They don't want him over there. He could never be a pastor bro. He needs to get his money up. And his felonies removed before he could even think about that. All right. These guys are miserable because now the men who are responsible and always taking taking responsibility for the messes that these Tyrones, Ray Rays, Pookies, Quans, Enriques, Miguel's, Pancho. Can you, imagine, can you imagine even Pancho is blowing out some backs? All right. These are men who have terrorized the black communities for at least 60, 70 years now. And now they're, you know, good men are picking up and leaving, starting new lives overseas, walking away from women who said they didn't want them. And these women and these men are furious because you know what's coming? Accountability is coming. Consequences are coming. And none of them want to face them. Guys, help me get to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't. Like the video and turn on notifications to never miss another video again. What do you think regarding all of this, guys? Thugs are furious that black men don't want black women. I want to know your thoughts in the comments, so let's talk about them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away and cheers.